You've probably heard of the greenhouse effect. This is what keeps our planet at a comfortable average temperature of 14 degrees Celsius. But did you know that without this greenhouse effect, the average temperature on our planet would be minus 18 degrees Celsius? That's too cold for life as we know it. But how does the greenhouse effect actually work? We're going to use the Rainforest Biome at Eden project to help us find out. So here we are outside Eden Project's rainforest biome and the temperature outside today is 19 degrees Celsius. Let's go inside the rainforest biome to find out how warm it is in there. So now we're inside Eden Project's rainforest biome and the temperature in here is 25 degrees Celsius. So it's six degrees warmer inside the biome than it is outside. So what's going on? Well, it's all to do with these plastic panels that cover our biomes. These panels trap the energy from the sun and keep it warm in here for our tropical plants. I'm far too hot in here, so let's go somewhere more comfortable and use a model to help us understand how this idea works on Earth. Welcome to planet Earth. This is Lucy. The greenhouse effect on Earth works in a similar way to our rainforest biome, apart from the Earth isn't covered in a layer of plastic. However, it is surrounded by the atmosphere. The atmosphere contains a number of gases that we call greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide and methane are examples of greenhouse gases and they trap the heat from the sun around the Earth. So let me show you the effect that these gases can have. First of all, let's just imagine that there were no greenhouse gases in the atmosphere at all. If this were the case, then the sun's energy would reach the earth, but then this heat energy would be lost back out into space again. This is represented by the two arrows, one showing the energy of the sun reaching earth and the second arrow showing it leaving again. In this situation, life as we know it wouldn't have evolved on Earth. So thank goodness this isn't the case. It's too cold. Brrr. Now, luckily for us, there are naturally some greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. This blanket represents those greenhouse gases. Now we have greenhouse gases, less heat is lost into space. So we can swap that big arrow showing the amount of heat being lost for a smaller one. This gives Earth a far more comfortable temperature. We call this the greenhouse effect. And a bit of this is actually a good thing. It's a comfortable temperature. Okay, so now we understand the greenhouse effect, we can also understand the causes of climate change. The problem we have on Earth now is that we've been releasing far too many greenhouse gases into the atmosphere over the last 200 years. So I'm going to add another blanket to represent this. There are several reasons for the increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Firstly, we've been burning more and more fossil fuels. These are coal, oil and gas. We dig them up from under the ground. We've done this to make electricity to be used in homes, by businesses and in factories. We also use fossil fuels to make things like petrol, diesel and kerosene. These fuels are used for transport in cars, lorries, ships and aeroplanes. When we burn these fuels, it releases lots of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Secondly, it's because when we make materials like steel, cement and plastic, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere and we use a lot of these. And finally, greenhouse gases are also produced by livestock. 
Yes, it's true. Cows burp and fart methane, and we farm a lot of these animals. All of this put together means that greenhouse gases have increased in the atmosphere and less heat is able to escape. So now we can swap that arrow showing the amount of heat being lost for an even smaller arrow. It's the greenhouse effect in overdrive. And it's too hot. So in summary, this buildup of greenhouse gases traps more heat on Earth and leads to an increase in global temperatures. Remember, this is what is causing climate change and leading to the impacts that we are already seeing across the globe. For example, extreme weather events, melting ice, sea level rise and flooding. These things are already impacting ecosystems, plants, animals and people everywhere. It's fair to say that dealing with climate change does represent a massive challenge and it's natural to feel like it's all a bit scary or that you're not sure about how to help. That's why it's so important to know that across the world people are already taking action and that we are also part of the solution. We can all do something and what we do matters.